Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Mighty Morphin issue 16 the Eterian War and the issue is written by Ryan Parrott, Marco is on the illustrations, colors by Water Assist by Sarah and Sharon and Ed is always on the letters. So we jump back over 10,000 years ago on planet Eltar and we find uh, Zofron and Zartus talking about bringing in somebody new, much to Zarta's surprise. However, it is for the good of the team. There is also talk about somebody else being supreme leader. Um, however, he, um, he can see things, different things. He wants it too much. He's a bit forced to this person who's going to go in there. Ay, 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 ay. Um, sorry, I can't resist. Um, so this is the first time that they meet Zordon who um, is modest and really doesn't want to be taken from the bronze team which shows um, Zofron and perhaps Sartus that he could be a good guardian and trained to not have bad habits. Meanwhile, in the future and the now, they are battling for limb and it's all about the three of them together as Zartos put it. Um, and um, he says, it's almost like I was meant to be here to finish the job. And, he, and Zoran says, is that why you did all this? He says, no, I got my revenge on you years ago. And um, then he tells Zofran, you never knew me as you thought I did. And I've learned some tricks with the Zero Crystal. And then Zed says, well, do you know what? It doesn't matter because you can't kill me anyway. However, Zata said, seeing how deformed he was, Dark Spectre was one thing. But you were a boogeyman. You were the one who scared people and scared Elton to grant me unlimited powers. And that was what why he kept him alive. And also, with um, Sword on, Zoran comes in to save his friend. Because it is his friend. Let's be honest. Zed is his friend. Or was his friend. Um, and he, um, he gets taken out of the frame quite easily. Meanwhile on Earth, blood-sucking vampire, space vampires are coming to to um, do some real damage. That's if there is a planet to save. However, the Imperial Reel is taking out the Zords left, right, and center. Meanwhile, Draken says, hey, when I left you guys on the planet, I realized that these guys didn't have a leader. I wanted to be that leader and came and picked them up. And then he says to Imperial Reel, hey, do you want to work for me? <laughs> and he says, nope, your world will burn. Quite simply. However, said, you know what? That's fine, but my little imperial, my little vampires are hungry. So he starts um, sucking some juice, and then, well, they pretty much get destroyed quite quickly. Meanwhile, back on the moon, um, he, um, they're still fighting, and pretty much it's, um, it's almost game over. Zartos is winning, and he is about to defeat. He's about to kill Zordon. He was, um, if you haven't noticed, the case is crackling. However, he uses the Zeo Crystal to do this. Stab him in the heart. Or blow him away. Whatever you want to call it. Or blow his skin off. I don't know. But there is also a little bit in here about how the Zeo Crystal came to being born. And being free. And rather trapped. And that was what created the Zeo Crystal. Which I thought was quite a nice monologue and very interesting but um yeah that's pretty cool i would have liked it to be a bit more graphic and bloody and booming whatever but the zero crystal is used his thing um interesting though even though he stabs him um i find it interesting that he doesn't get blown to pieces it's always also interesting because the zero crystal as a whole i mean that looks like just a shard but the zero crystal was kept under the moon for future episodes so um, I find that a little bit interesting and a little bit strange. Meanwhile, the Imperial Rule is ripping out the Zords to pieces. Nice and easy. And uh, Matt and Tommy go in to distract him. Really distract him so that the Morphin Master Blue can finally rip him in pieces, which is awesome. And the great thing is, he actually thanks the Rangers. And they say, thanks, you just did the, the big deed. And they're like, no, I just came in. I'm like a little drop of water where you... 
weathered the storm. So it's quite nice metaphors and all sorts. Anyway, Draken so, takes the credit or tries to take the credit. He says, you know what? You killed our friend. I'm coming for you. And, you, you know, that's pretty cool. I like that bit that Draken goes off and, you know, we'll see him again at some point, which is brilliant. I like that. And then um, there's talk about Zornum. Where is he? Is he all right? And um, he's not sure. There's a light breaking in the dawn. And there is a darkness or a shadow cast upon us all. And a battle may be won, but the war is far from over. And we get a Lord Zed looking menacing over Zordon, which is pretty decent to be continued, I guess, in the finale. So, decent issue. I loved it. It flowed. It was brilliant. Um, we'd like to see some more space vampires in the future. So, a bit disappointed that they seem to all be destroyed. I'm hoping they do come back. Um, great dialogue, character development. It was all there. Um, and then one thing that um, Zarta said that I forgot to mention why breezing through this issue was he said that in his mind, Zafron betrayed him first because he didn't make him Supreme Guardian. So it, isn't it amazing how in life a little bit of jealousy can turn something into a monster? It's brilliant. I love it. Well done, Ryan. Um, I do have the next issues and uh, the next three issues um, somewhere that I need to read and review and um, let you know. So um, thank you for watching. Please support my channel by subscribing. I hope you like what you saw. Thank you to those that already subscribed. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care, folks. Goodbye.